Hello Wildcats, this is Coach Lamb again giving you the quick version of the compounds, elements, and mixtures. There are two videos you'll notice. This is going to be the short one, and then if you need some more in-depth help on, these, on this content, I have another video that's about 12, 13 minutes out there. It goes a little bit more in-depth on this. So what I just want to give you a quick couple minute video that briefly goes over compounds, elements, and mixtures and the difference between each. So what I have here is here's a couple of key points on elements. If you're just looking over this, remember an element is a pure substance. It's always going to be made of one type of atom. Some common examples are going to be oxygen, with the symbol O, helium with the symbol HE. Uh, we do always represent our elements symbolically. It's going to be anywhere between one to three letters. The first letter is always capitalized, and it can only have one capital in there, guys. If you're talking about elements, only one capital. Uh, here's a picture that might be a model of it. Sometimes when you have tests, you're given all these different pictures, and you're saying, which one might be an element? Well, you notice how all of these black dots are exactly the same. It's an homogenous, meaning they're all the same, one type. They're not connected in any way, so that's why this picture would represent elements. Mixtures are going to be two or more substances that are mixed together but not chemically combined. Examples, you've got a salad or Chex Mix. And your, your Chex Mix, you know what, I love the um, little triangles that are like cheese bites. They're good. And I like the Chex pieces, but I'm not real big on the pretzel bites. So I can pick out the pretzels if I want. That's how you can tell if it's a mixture. If you can easily separate the parts of a substance, that's going to mean it's a mixture. Uh, on my picture here showing it, you'll notice there's different things. You've got circles, squares, triangles. They're not connected. Um, and you can easily, I could just come over here and maybe take out these triangles because I ate them because I like those little cheese triangles in the Chex Mix. On compounds, compounds are two or more elements that are chemically combined. When they're chemically combined, they don't come apart very easily. When you have water, H2O, like our example, it's not easy to separate the hydrogen from the oxygen. Same thing with carbon dioxide. Uh, if you'll notice these symbols, there are two capital letters, a capital C, a capital O, two elements, meaning it's a compound. And in our picture, you can see I've got the dark circle and the blue circle kind of combined there. They're touching. And so when I look at all this, they're all the same, but they're all connected, uh, meaning each pair is exactly the same, but each pair has one black and one blue circle connected in the same way. That's showing you it's a compound. They are chemically combined. So. Elements, all the same thing, one capital letter. Mixture can be lots of things tossed together, easy to separate. And compound, two or more elements combined, and they don't come apart very easily. All right, that's it for this video. Hopefully that gave you a couple of quick minutes that reminded you about your stuff to learn with compounds, elements, and mixtures, and will give you a good start to whatever it is you're studying. Thanks, Wildcats, and we'll see you next time.